Hey everybody, Dr. J.J. Levine, president of Asante Organics. And here's a question that I've gotten quite often actually. What's the difference? What's the difference between probiotics, prebiotics, digestive enzymes? Are they the same thing? Do I need to take one or the other? And here's the answer. Uh, let's go over this one by one. Um, probiotics are literally live bacteria. And when I say live bacteria, other people might refer to it as I do as good bacteria. You need to have probiotics and good bacteria in your body. It's kind of weird to think about that, especially people in my age group that we kind of grew up in the antibiotic age. But bacteria is actually good, some bacteria, in your gut. You need it for a proper health. This live or good bacteria helps keep your body healthy, but here's the issue. I mentioned antibiotics. Antibiotics are definitely necessary in many cases to save people's lives, but we have had a terrible situation that I've been reporting on for over a couple of decades, the overuse and abuse of antibiotics. Uh, get, taking an antibiotic for every little sniffle and sneeze that really the body can get rid of naturally. Um, antibiotic products that are in your soaps, uh, your personal care products, your toothpaste, things like triclosan, really dangerous stuff. And again, it's not just me reporting on this. You can see lots of news articles and periodicals and research that have corroborated what I'm talking about. So what has occurred is the overuse and abundance of antibiotics in our personal care products, as well as our food supply, uh, the meat that people eat. And even if you're eating vegetables or products that are made from vegetables, if you're not getting organic, that the, 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 the soil supply and the water supply can be contaminated from antibiotics and other toxic chemicals from our livestock. So you definitely want to eat as low on the food chain as possible, be as close to as an organic vegetarian as possible, and in a moment I'm going to talk about why you want to be as raw as possible. And then you also want to be careful of your personal care products that have antibiotics. I don't use antibacterial soap in my house. I never have, or toothpaste, or any other personal care products for that matter. As a matter of fact, this is the toothpaste that I use. This is Sparkle Tooth Polish. You've heard me talk about this before. If you want a toxic-free and antibiotic free solution for your personal care products, get back to the person who shared this video with you. This is Sparkle Tooth Polish. It's gonna clean your teeth amazingly well. It's gonna still kill 99.9% .9 of the germs, bacteria, virus, and fungus, and so on and so forth, but there's no triclosan in here. Here's hand candy. We don't have antibacterial soap in our house. Hand candy is amazing. Again, you want to experience any of our toxic free products made from organic ingredients, get back to the person who shared this video with you. So that's the first thing that I'd recommend, and that's a little definition of what probiotics are. Again, there are your live good bacteria. Now, prebiotics. We talked about probiotics. Now let's talk about prebiotics. Prebiotics are simply non-digestible carbohydrates, which actually feed your probiotics. Probiotics are naturally in your gut, as I said, but to proliferate and grow and be at a healthy level, there's a symbiotic relationship between your level of probiotics and your level of prebiotics. So very good synergy there. So you need to be consuming prebiotics. A phenomenal prebiotic, and there are many, but a phenomenal one is Inulin, I-N-U-L-I-N. Please don't confuse this with insulin. Insulin is a hormone. Uh, people with diabetes obviously know about insulin. Insulin is completely different from inulin. As a matter of fact, inulin, a amazing prebiotic, is extraordinarily safe for everybody, including diabetics. It's not gonna raise your blood sugar. It's a soluble fiber, which also can help with your health. And it literally or virtually has no caloric effects. That's one of the reasons why we use prebiotic inulin in our organic 7.365 shake. Here's our salted caramel flavor. Here's our organic vanilla flavor, our organic salted caramel vanilla, as well as our organic chocolate kiss. All have organic inulin in it, which again, our phenomenal prebiotic, which again is going to help boost up or help proliferate the good bacteria pro probiotics. Another great prebiotic option we have for you above and beyond our 7.365 shake is our ever popular B Natural. 
B natural has a great amount of prebiotics as well as many other nutrients, minerals, and things that you need for a healthy lifestyle. Great supplement that we continue to get testimonials on every single week. Last but not least, I'd like to talk about digestive enzyme, which is again, a third different thing. Digestive enzymes are critical for health. For every human being, for every animal, every mammal, you need to have enzymes. Enzymes do so many things, but suffice it to say, they help with the digestive process. They help break down the foods that we consume. If we don't do that, those foods can rot in our gut and they can get stuck in the house strations or the folds of our intestines and that can lead to disease. So very, very important that you're getting your digestive enzymes. Now, digestive enzymes, when you look at a product, typically have the letters A, S, E at the end, ACE. So you've got your protease, your amylase, your cellulase, many other ones. We have a formula uh, uh, called Daily Digest, which is incredible. Incredible. It's going to give you all your daily digestive enzymes. It's called Daily, uh, daily Digest. It's incredible. Um, it helps uh, support your pH balanced lifestyle, as do all of our products. You're really going to love this product. It's a brand new product in the division to Asante Organics, but it, already the testimonials are coming in how well it works. Now, why do you need to have a di daily digest or a digestive enzyme? As we get older, our enzyme levels decrease. So we need to get those enzymes into us. And another reason which really decimates enzymes is because we overcook our foods. Anything over 118 degrees is going to kill your enzymes. So let me ask you a question. Are you eating food that you cooked in a toaster oven, a oven oven? Have you microwaved it? Have you boiled it? Have you steamed it? Of course you have, we all have, and there's times that you're gonna to wanna to do that, of course, but when you do that, you're killing the natural enzymes in that food. So as you eat those foods that have been cooked at over 118 degrees, they're just gonna sit in your gut, and they're gonna come out of you eventually, hopefully, but a lot of it's gonna get trapped, so you need those enzymes in you to help them move the digestion along. So my advice for you in that case is to eat as raw as possible, you know, eat as low on the food chain again, eat organic vegetables and eat them raw as you can, raw fruits and vegetables, that's gonna help you. And of course, supplement your diet with Daily Digest. So I hope that gave you some clarity on the differences between probiotics, prebiotics, digestive enzymes. Uh, we're building a catalog here at Asante or Organic of toxic-free products made from organic ingredients that are there to help your lifestyle, to help you have a toxic-free and organic lifestyle because you don't need to live day after day. You don't need to depend on chemicals. Chemicals have just come around recently in the past hundred years or so with the chemical revolution, but they're not making our lives that much better. In fact, some cases they might be, but in most cases, they're actually making our lives worse because they're leading to so many health consequences. So again, consider going toxic free, consider going organic and allow Asante Organics to help you. So get back to the person who shared this video with you and they're going to show you their website and all of the offerings that we have, well over a hundred products to help you have a toxic free home. So again, this is Dr. JJ Levine, president of Asante Organics, and I look forward to sharing again with you real soon. Bye-bye everybody.